I guess a lot of people didn't like the Jurassic Park game on Super Nintendo. Um, but when I was a little kid, I was like in love with it. It's been about time we had it work the first time, and I didn't have to blow on it. So Ocean, that's another, that was another British developer. I mention those a lot in some of my Let's Plays. Rare, DMA. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I have not played this in forever. The problem is, um, after you beat the game, there's like no replay value at all, and and you also get pissed off about the ending, so it makes you not really want to play it again. I mean, maybe revisit it every once in a while, which I did. Because despite that, I still do love this game. Okay. So I actually have a story about this game. Um, so that's like a checkpoint. Um, when I was four years old, um, and it was Christmas of 1999. Okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it was Christmas of 1999, and we were at my great-grandparents house um there's my great-grandpa and um it, my step-great-grandmother at the time and and she had these like nieces or something and they brought over their super nintendo and they had this game and they had all these other games i remember they also had yoshi's island um indiana jones I just mentioned which is not right. Um, Cliffhanger. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. I think one of those Mario Preschool games and uh, Thomas the Train. Yeah. So that's always been a very good memory. I didn't know about any of those games. Like, like, I thought it was really cool that there was a Jurassic Park game on Super Nintendo, and after that I really wanted it. And like a year, and like a year or two later or something, I found it at a game store, and, um, I got it. Yeah. Sorry for stalling with that storytelling. You know, something's wrong, like, the game's being displayed, but my TV's saying that there's no input, and it's, like, blocking the screen. Let me... Run. 
Turn on the generator and the nuclear utility shed, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's back there. I was just trying to have my mic there because I hate wearing this headset. But I feel like I should wear it anyway. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's. Well, I kind of want to explore around first because I haven't played this in forever, like I said. That. I always thought that taser was awesome. Alan Grant should have had that in the movie. There we go. Let me turn this up a little more. Try not to have it too loud for the microphone. Ooh. There comes the uh, raptors. Ooh. I freaking love this game. I just really loved its um its atmosphere and design. It's very beautiful. This makes me very nostalgic. When I was four years old, I watched Jurassic Park on VHS all the time. Almost like every night. Good memories. I haven't watched that in a long time. I should do that. Ooh. Yeah, I think those can kill you. Oh, I f forgot about that. That brings back a little PTSD. Oh. I like that, the... Oops. The Boris snare rifle or something. That thing. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Oh, shh. What the f- I completely forgot about that. Jeez. Alright, let's do that mission. I'm glad that happened though, so that's a shortcut uh, back here. Almost got squished. So I know there's some raptors that pop out here, so I'm ready for that. Ooh. It's a good time to have that. Those little freaking things. Ooh! And there's the rocket launcher. That will help too. That like, completely destroys them. Let's see. They evaporate. Ooh! There's a health pack if I need it. Here we go. So this is cool. Whenever you go inside a place, it turns into a first-person shooter like Doom. I f 
I totally forgot how cool this was to me when I was a little kid. It's really impressive for not using a super effects chip. But you know, British developers were usually very smart when it came to developing games and they knew how to figure techniques out in programming those games. Elevator. What the heck? Jeez. I didn't know what was attacking me. It's like I was... Oh man, this is scary. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun, shin. Man. Shoot, I think if you kill him with just the shotgun, same with on the map, um, they'll come back up. So that was why that happened earlier when I was on the mountain. Does that thing back up behind me? That's pretty scary. I never, like, thought of how genius that was. That's kind of like a a Resident Evil thing. Ooh. That was like three more years before it came out. I really need a... Oh, yeah. You can't go into you know, dark rooms or you'll die. Without night vision goggles, you have to get night vision goggles to go in there. Yeah, it's really cool, you know, like, all the things that they did, you know, like, things they borrowed from the movie, and they even borrowed some things from the book, the Jurassic Park book. Hmm. Let's see if I can turn on the generator and the new blur security shed. I need... I need to try to find some, like, rocket launchers. Or, does work too. So I better not use them. another egg. It won't let you finish the game um, unless all the eggs are co collected. More shotgun ammo. Get the frick away from me. You know, later I need to try to show that T-Rex. It's on the other side. I 
I never knew what those letter those letters were for. Let me see the rest back there again. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there's that one of those computers. Oh, maybe that's that's what I gotta do. This is pretty cool. Main system down. Okay, so we don't turn it on here. Generator room. Oh, there it is. Now I remember. I could have just killed those with a shotgun. Alright, now we got it. So let's try that computer again now that we did that. I don't know if we're supposed to do that. Let's check it out. Just in case. System cannot boot from this console. Shoot. Yeah, you have to do all kinds of things like that at each location. Like connect powers and stuff. Enable radios. So, what's next? Your motion sensor will only work when the computer is rebooted. Well, I don't need it that bad. Grump. Reboot the computer in the visitor center. Okay. So now we're gonna go all the way back and go there. Ooh. Everywhere. in the habit of doing that. Visitor center. The restaurant. Whoa. What? I gotta quit wasting the snares on them. Oh, rockets! Perfect. Yeah, this 
this was pretty cool looking. It's the fridge. So, so yeah, I don't know, I don't remember exactly where we gotta go here. But I do want to try to get some items on the roof. I know there's an ID card up there. You, certain doors are locked and you have to have somebody's ID to, to go through them. Perfect. More rockets and more snares. Exactly what I wanted. There it is. John Hammond's ID. I think that's the only ID that's on the map, and all the other IDs are inside, or in the inside places. I'll get that. Yeah, let's do the middle room. Right in front of me, jeez. that. So that's really it.
just making sure I didn't miss anything. Well, I don't think I... I still didn't explore the, the whole first floor yet, so we still gotta do that. I think there's even a basement here. to that restaurant. Bullet snare rifle. I think that room needs night vision goggles. Yeah, so what happens is um, if you go out there without it, you just go in and then you hear a, a raptor roar and you die you end up back on the map. Ooh. Yep, to the basement. I think that's where those those all those computers are. Those big machines. Well, hopefully I find the night vision goggles here. You have to find night vision goggles um, in every place. They each have their own, so you can't like find one there and then use it for all the other ones. Each have their own. should be it. Yeah, that cool room. Hey, there's a battery. So cool looking. They should have had it, so if your health is already full, then the health pack won't be wasted. Just pick it up when you are hurt. Because how are you supposed to avoid grabbing it? So that's a little flaw. Oh, there. 
Yeah, I knew there was a room like that, but bigger, like this. Every time I saw, you know, like, drumsticks like that in games and cartoons, it always made me so hungry. Those are some of the good memories. Ellie Sattler's card. So when I got that battery, it, it, it didn't get a chance to say what it was. So I don't know if it was just a battery for something or if that was the night vision goggles. Can't believe I forgot what the night vision goggles look like in this. But that might have been it. So I need to find a dark room and test them. Where was that dark room? Think that. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but the thing that sucks is you have to beat this whole game in one sitting. Well, I mean, you have to do that with you had to do that with a lot of games back then. But you know, a game like this, like it's too bad they didn't let you save. All right. So let's hope that was the night vision goggles. Okay. I thought it must have been. But what's the point of this room? That's it? I mean, there was a other room up there that was dark. Hopefully there's something in there. But that room was nothing. That's disappointing. There it is. Oh, another ID card. Alan Grants. Yeah, so I'm confused, like, was there a computer? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just making sure that was the room that I went to. Yeah. That's even more useless of a room than the other one. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I had the ID, so no. Not really. I just said that because that room was smaller. Well, let's just get out of here. Because I wasn't actually trying to, like, you know, beat this game. Just wanted to play it. So what I'll probably do now is, um... Grant. I'll show that T-Rex, and I guess that'll be it. Yeah, so like those 
those flying saucers, those were from the book. There's a triceratops around here. You know, I never thought about this, I never realized this, but they don't play the Jurassic Park theme at all in this game, and that's, you know, that's kind of, like, they should do that. So this is where it is. The T-Rex. Comes. Just have to keep running. But the disappointing thing is that's all it is. It's not like a boss or anything like it should have been. So I'll just show you what happens um, if you let it get you. <laughs> I always thought it was weird how it just did that and it like didn't show him finishing him. There's another area with that T-Rex. Same thing. Oh yeah, there's another thing you can do. I forgot. Um, well, whatever. Um, with those trink, um, with those darts, um, you can shoot it back. Uh, but that's the only weapon that will do that. Beach utility shed, ground level. Well, I should probably just end it there because, you know, you've pretty much seen all the gameplay. It, you know, things don't really change. You're just going around doing these missions. Except there's, you know, there's other areas you have to unlock to go to. Um, and there's also, you know, other different looking inside places. Um, like, there's an inside place that's like in the cave. And there's one in the ship. 
I wish I could show those. But yeah, besides that, yeah. Okay. Well, it was interesting to revisit that. It was very nostalgic and it brought back a lot of good memories from when I was a little kid. And I know I say those same things like almost every time, but still. Same thing. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time.